Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you my Halloween reads recommendations. Um, so for Halloween, I'm like, it's not like I'm not really into Halloween. Um, so it's not like something like I'm really like all into. Um, but I still enjoy, I like watching some of the movies like Halloween Town, like the Disney Channel movies um, and Harry Potter, of course. Um, but fun fact, the Disney Channel movie Scream Team was filmed in my hometown in uh, Canada and I actually we were kind of around town when they were filming it and one of the actors came up and started talking to us because of our dog he was wanting to know about it because he was wearing a gentle eater um, and he was curious about that so it was the blue ghost actor um, if you're familiar with that so fun fact so for Halloween rains like I said I'm not really too big into it but I have a kind of five recommendations here that are I think just kind of have a Halloween feel. Either they're like really spooky reads, they're kind of atmospheric, and they're just, I think, would be fun books to read on a cold night or kind of have just some spookiness Halloween vibes to them. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So this first one here is a definitely like an atmospheric spooky Halloween read and it is The Bone Garden by Tess Gerritsen and this is a dual storyline. So it basically follows this woman who moves into this very old house that was built in the 1800s and when she's kind of reconstructing like working on the garden she digs up these bones and it leads to this investigation and it was about a murder um, the body was believed to belong to someone who died in the mid 1800s so it kind of goes from there and she's trying to uncover the past and so we flash back to Boston in the 1800s following Rose whose sister just died during childbirth so she's taking care of her sister's daughter and while this is going on there's these murders taking place and so this one is just really really spooky and I love this book I read this in I think October 2016 um, and I think that was a perfect time to read this especially with the Boston 1800 storyline I can totally picture, picture it being like foggy and spooky and there's this murderer like running loose and you get to kind of be a part of those sequences and it's very immersive and I think this would be a perfect book to read around Halloween it's really spooky and if you also like kind of mysteries I think this one would be perfect it is so good I cannot recommend this book enough so this is another kind of like I was saying atmospheric Halloween read and it is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern and I read this last summer and I think this reminds me of Halloween because it does take place during kind of autumn like around the time where it's just getting a cold around like October uh, with a circus but the way the book is written it's very atmospheric I can see myself at this circus I can smell the popcorn the cotton candy I can smell the apples I can smell the fire burning and I think this is would be a perfect Halloween read also because it has magic in here as well but I think it's just a very good Halloween read just because it does have the sights like it's very it's a very um immersive read and the fact that it kind of you can like taste everything you can smell everything you can see everything that's going on in here and I think it really reminds me of Halloween when I was looking through my shelf just because it has the that feeling of Halloween where you get those senses that remind you of that that day so I think this one would be a lot of fun it takes place um, I want to say in the late 1800s around these two magicians that are competing with each other in a circus that will go like go to this place for a couple days and magically disappear so I cannot recommend this book enough it is really really good this is one of the scarier reads for me and it's like a horror mystery type and it is the winter people by Jennifer McManon and I read this three years ago and it is still creeps me out today it's about this person that, um the this family that moves into this house um that belonged to in the, like the early 1900s this woman whose daughter um like basically mysteriously died and all this stuff and so the winter people are people that are believed to live near this forest that are people who have died but their spirits haven't passed on and there's all these mysterious deaths taking place and then this 19 year old um yeah which is it's ruthie and so ruthie lives in there at this farmhouse in present day where this murder took place and so her mother mysteriously goes missing and so this has some connection to do with 
the murder that took place a hundred years ago and it's just really creepy i was like totally freaked out and there's this one character in here and just how she was described i was like oh my goodness and we kind of live in a foresty area and i was like freaked out at night so this one i think is a really good kind of horror -y halloween read um so yeah this is another one that has that Halloween vibe in that it's very magic based and kind of witch and wizards. And this is like an adult Harry Potter is how I see it and it is the Cousin of Dyer's trilogy by Nora Roberts and I read this two years ago I want to say but it's basically about these cousins who um, get together and they have to battle this wizard that's kind of been haunting their family for centuries and so I guess with the combination of their powers now they're strong enough to take like take this wizard on and so it's really spooky it's like an adult Harry Potter each book kind of follows one of the three cousins and it's from their perspective so this one was just a lot of fun it's very Harry Potter-esque and I don't know it takes place in Ireland too so it it's just very atmospheric and with the magic in here it's really unique and I think a lot of fun so I think if you were a fan of Harry Potter and you're a little bit grown up now I think this one would be a good kind of getting you that Harry Potter feeling but also being its own different entity and very different so yeah this is very again this is also very atmospheric as well so I think this one would be perfect to read around Halloween and then lastly I have Heartless by Marissa Meyer and this is a retelling of or not like it's like a prequel to how the Queen of Hearts and Alice in Wonderland became who she was and I think this one is just kind of a good Halloween where it's just a little bit out there with the I've never really read Wonderland so I don't really get some of the references in here but it's just kind of weird and just has that Halloween feel where it's just this different world around centered around these unique characters in this little fantasy um, setting so I think this one was a lot of fun especially with the ending and all that I think it's a really good retelling I'm not like I said I didn't understand some of the references in here to the original Alice in Wonderland um, I was only I remember when I was little I watched the Disney movie but other than that like I'm not familiar with it but I really like this I think this is a kind of a bit fun Halloween read and I just love this cover as well it's very very pretty but I think this is I don't know why it makes me think of Halloween but it did um, so yeah it's just how the Queen of Hearts came to be the Queen of Hearts um, so yeah that's basically all I have to say about this one so that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments below what books you like to read around Halloween time and all of that fun stuff so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time bye guys